Hello everyone, Dr. Ames here. This time I'd like to talk about risks. And when we come to uh, look at cultures and compare and contrast them, this is one of the international uh, categories that we use. Cultures either have a tendency to take a little bit of a risk or to completely play it safe. And it's a good way to understand somewhat what might be going in, uh, going on in any given culture. So first, uh, play it safe cultures. Um, what we have going on here is high uncertainty avoidance. Uncertainty avoidance is simply risk. If you're high in uncertainty avoidance, that means you don't like risk. Um, your sense of uncertainty is very high and it keeps you from taking risks. So we have a, a certain number of characteristics that sort of go along with cultures that take this viewpoint. Play it safe cultures generally uh, like to keep things under control. Um, they want to make sure that everyone knows the rules and uh, those who break the rules, though, are punished. Um, and they want to make sure that everyone knows what's expected. So everything is very precise. Uh, your relationships are precise, your schedules, your assignments, everything. Um, details are down to the smallest little thing. Everything is covered. And this is simply because change is suspect. And change is not embraced, change is not liked. It is much more about maintaining tradition. Um, it's a don't rock the boat attitude uh, in, in a more extreme sense, cultures that are high in uncertainty avoidance. Um, and so these sorts of cultures really do value tradition and heritage. Um, and they value uh, those, these things to the extent that they really protect them. So societies uh, that are high in uncertainty avoidance often become very rigid over time. Um, this is completely different than what we see with um, risk-taking cultures. They're what we call low in uncertainty avoidance. Um, however, um, they're more aggressive, they're more, uh, more active, more emotional, more intolerant, more security seeking. Uh, excuse me, I'm, I'm talking still about the cultures of uh, play it safe, high in uncertainty of avoidance. Um, and so why are they so aggressive? Well, they're defending tradition and heritage and they've taken a stance that this is what's the most important thing, that we don't want to change anything. And so they do become uh, more on the security side. They wanna protect everything. So examples of this are countries like Greece, uh, Japan, and most European and Latino cultures. They are play it safe cultures. They are high in uncertainty avoidance. Uh, other risk taking cultures are, are quite different, um, lo being low in uncertainty avoidance. Um, rules have their place in a society like this, but there are always exceptions to the rule. And so change is not viewed as suspect. Change is often viewed as an opportunity or a challenge. And a lot of times these opportunities or challenge come with profits. If they're properly investigated and the amount of risk is calculated and so forth and analyzed. So these are cultures that are comfortable with a certain amount of risk. They might say nothing ventured, nothing gained, or we can, invent in, uh, we can invest in the future to get payoffs on our investments. Uh, and so people in risk-taking cultures tend to be quite the opposite of people uh, in high uncertainty avoidance cultures. They are uh, more contemplative, uh, they're more tolerant generally, less aggressive, less emotional. And so some good examples of cultures around the world that are um, more about uh, risk-taking, a little bit of uncertainty avoidance is Singapore, which is the highest uh, risk-taking culture. So they're low in uncertainty avoidance, they will take a risk. And of course, international business, it is one of the centers of international business in the world in Singapore. Um, and also the US, but the US is a moderate example of, of this notion of either being low or high in uncertainty avoidance. Okay, folks, that's all I want to talk about this time. I'll see you again soon.